Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra Vecchio, the Climate Change Program Director at Mass Audubon. I'm so excited to welcome you all to the Mass Audubon Youth Leaders for Climate Justice online showcase. A very special thank you to all the participants for their hard work over the past few months. And of course, thank you to their advisors, supporters, and the staff for their dedication to these young climate leaders. Congratulations to all the YLCJ groups for a job well done. I'm so proud to work alongside each and every one of you in this fight for a more just and sustainable future. The Youth Leaders for Climate Justice program is a one semester journey. It begins with a summit, a full day of training in climate justice, project planning, and civic engagement. Our program's mission is to support youths to become an active, informed, and effective advocate tackling issues surrounding climate change and creating climate justice. Youth Leaders for Climate Justice 2019-2020 has four climate tracks student groups can focus their projects on. Reduction of fossil fuels, trees and plants, food systems, and climate education. Thank you all for your commitment to action and creating climate justice. Hi guys, my name is Kimberly. Hi, I'm Ava. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie. My name is Vivian, and we are the Dragonettes. Our goal for this project was to investigate the ratio of meat and non-meat lunch options provided by our school every day. We chose this project because it allows students who do not have these options at home to get these options during school. Also, it lowers the carbon footprint of the student and the school. So what we did was we counted the number of meatless options every day for the month of March, and we also got in contact with the person who came up with the lunch menus. We made a survey for students to fill out about their dietary restrictions. With this data, we were hoping to see the proportion of meals that they got. So when we were analyzing the lunch menu, we saw that there were either one meatless option or no meatless options for the day. But there were other times that had two meatless options, but it was very inconsistent. This is a serious issue because on the days that there are no meatless options, they can't get the food and therefore they won't eat. How I personally changed my behavior is that I became a vegetarian during this project. I also talked to my peers and younger students on a personal level to understand their dietary restrictions. You can get involved by advocating for more meatless options provided at your school through social media or partnerships with other nonprofit organizations. Hey, I'm Adrian Aller. My name is Ali. Hello, my name is Clifton Jean. And my name is Jamie Mitchell. My name is Leslie Farias. My name is Gabriel Grimes. My name is Shelton Jean. We are the Willow Tree Youth Leaders from Mass Audubon's Boston Nature Center, and we chose to address the issue of single-use plastics. Our social plan is to incorporate green sustainability in the Boston Public Schools. Students were given a reusable BPA-free plastic water bottle for in-school use at the Haley School, and we plan on doing the same at the Chittick School. We put this in place to reduce single-use plastics with the goal of decreasing impacts of climate change while also educating the local youth on climate justice and how they can have an impact in their neighborhood. As this project continues, another goal is that it will inspire other local schools in the Boston area to start taking initiative to reduce plastic waste. The next goal is to work with Mass Audubon on incorporating a, a section about the Better Bottle project on the website. This would include our process throughout the project as well as a way for others to start initiative at their school. Hi, my name is Akshaya Sithram. Vishal Michael Ma. Aiko Ma. Zuhair Hussaini. Vicky Chan. Oh, yeah. Rachel Dettelbach. Joachim Laurent. And we are the Concord Carlisle Climate Change Coalition. Our project was to expand and refine our youth climate education program we started last year. Our goal is to use a hands-on teaching style to engage young kids in learning the basics of climate change and climate justice, as well as empower them with tools to help. We chose this project because we know that young people are the fuel behind this movement. By engaging our community's youth in the topic of climate change, we have the opportunity to make a unique impact on the future. Our ability to visit schools this spring was affected by the virus. But our goal of engaging our community was not. In the coming months, we plan to move our lessons to an online format in an attempt to continue our efforts. We thank everyone for their support these past months and congratulate them on their impressive work bettering their community. 
Hi, I'm Ron Crawley. To really make it possible to get effective climate legislation pushed through, we need we need to make sure that everybody in society understands that this is an that this is not an option and a must. Specifically, we should target the working class people and anybody else who feels like they are under attack by us and that we want to take away their job, whether it be a coal job or some other industry and energy industry job. We need to demonstrate to them that we are on their side and even if they do lose their job, um, they will be provided for by, with a new job by the Green New Deal, which is a must. To help us with our efforts, you can go to the Sunrise Movement's website where you can read up on the Green New Deal and get in touch with the organizing groups if you haven't already. If you really want to help, um, you can talk to your local school board officials about trying about, and uh, see what you can do to try to get climate change into the curriculum at, in some possible way. Cool. Thank you. Hi, I'm Val. Our goal is to teach others about climate change and climate justice. Hi, I'm Abraham. We are from the First Parish Church of Groton, Unitarian Universalist in Groton, Massachusetts. I'm Amelia. In our faith, we follow seven guiding principles. These outline greater ideas of kindness and justice in this world. One of our principles expressed the need to value our earth and all those that we share it with. Another tells us to respect and offer fair treatment to every person. Climate change threatens our earth and the people on it. We decided it's something that we need to talk about. When we started this project, we realized how little we knew about climate change and climate justice. And we weren't alone. Our parents, teachers, and friends didn't know much about climate change either. Nor did we know about its unfair impact on some groups of people or endangered habitats. So, we decided to help educate kids in our church by creating a six weeks course on climate justice. The earth I tread on is not a dead, inert mass. It is a body, has a spirit, is organic and fluid to the influence of its spirit and to whatever particle of the spirit is in me. Henry David Thoreau. This is the Habitat Environmental Action Team, also known as HEAT. And we're a group of teenagers from around Belmont and Arlington who are working towards making better climate crisis solutions in our area, in our neighborhoods. So one of the projects we're working on right now is called a Climate Cafe, where we hope to attract some of our peers and other people in our community to come talk about and have casual conversations about the climate crisis, um, specifically a project called Project Drawdown, which talks about solutions and other aspects of the climate crisis that are easy to discuss and good conversation starters. So we hope that um, people can come have these conversations and feel like they're leaving with more questions and feel curious about uh, climate change and what it means to them. Hopefully, um, as a group, we can start expanding that influence in our neighborhoods and that kind of has a domino effect around Massachusetts and hopefully across the United States. I am starting Earth Justice Club at LS uh, in order to promote um, sustainable agriculture and um, to teach people how to grow their own food sustainably. The mission of my club is really to um, teach people about um, growing their own food and to try and bring sustainability to LS. Our quality of life is going to be radically changed really soon and that's the scary part. EJC is now working on ending the use of single-use iced coffee cups for students at the school by selling our own. When you buy our reusable iced coffee cup, you will be entered into a raffle to get a $25 gift card to a popular coffee shop in the area. We found a problem at LS that in the unnecessary use of single-use plastics and this is something easy to change with a little incentive. It is painful to see the detrimental effects plastic has on climate change and for our own, and for our own health. 
tracking progress in EJC is easy justice. on our Instagram, okay. LS Earth Justice. Folks, this is everyone's problem and without addressing if without everyone addressing it, then all you need to do is buy a reusable coffee cup and don't forget it on your next trip to Starbucks. Hi, I'm Rose. I'm Michaela. I'm Amina. I'm Kimberly. I'm Yvonne. I'm Sally from Mass Audubon Strumlin Farm Wildlife Sanctuary. I'm Katie from Low Parks and Conservation Trust, and we are Tree Thieves. Hi, my name is Yuvani, and I'm a part of the Trees team at Lowell High School in Lowell, Massachusetts. Trees stands for Teens Representing Environmental Excellence and Stewardship, and our project was planning and holding the fourth annual Environmental Youth Conference. The EYC is a conference that the TREES team holds every year to educate and inspire students from the Merrimack River watershed about environmental justice. Over 70 people were expected to attend, such as students, parents, climate activists, and even legislators, such as Congresswoman Lori Trahan. The theme of the conference was Taking Action, Inspiring Hope. Our goal was to show the students that there are different paths for them to take to be stewards of the environment and different aspects that people can focus on. To accomplish this, we invited people who represented the advocacy, education, politics, conservation, climate justice, and STEM aspects of environmental justice. Hi everyone, my name is Francesca Cucci and I am the founder of Waltham High's Environmental Club. So we kind of created two projects and we collaborated with Havo A, a program leader at Moss Audubon, and Meadowscaping for Biodiversity, which is a local group um, that creates native plant gardens in our area. So for our projects, we first started Climate Cafes at Waltham High, which invite guest speakers to talk about climate change and activism to our students, mostly because climate change is not taught in our core curriculum. And we think the best way to get students and the youth involved in climate justice is through education. We also um, are planning to create a native plant garden in one of our courtyards. Unfortunately, this has been postponed um, because of coronavirus, but we are planning to get back on that next year.